The suspect in a kidnapping and killing of a Memphis woman returned to court today to face additional charges, including first degree murder. Memphis police say they found the body of Eliza Fletcher four days after she was abducted during an early morning run. 38 year old Cleotha Abston had already been charged with especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence for allegedly forcing her into an SUV while she was out jogging near the University of Memphis last Friday. The outcome of this investigation is not what we hoped for. We are nonetheless pleased to remove this dangerous predator off the streets of Memphis. In the meantime, on the steps of the abandoned Memphis house where Fletcher's body was found, a memorial is now growing in her honor. Hundreds of people now planning to finish her run this coming Friday morning in the area where she was abducted. And news of this tragic death is something that can make maybe some runners feel a little nervous right now. So if you're headed out for a run this evening or in the morning, we've got a few tips just to remember that can keep you a little bit safer. Obviously wear reflectors or lights on your clothes. That's so you can be visible in the dark areas to drivers and whatnot. Always run on designated trails or sidewalks. Carry your phone and your ID with you at all times. And if possible, run with others in a group. If you are running solo, always let another person know where you're going and trust your instinct. Be alert. If something doesn't feel right, get to a safe place and call police.